Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. A gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it is indeed a free way to support the channel. And of course we do appreciate the support as always. So guys, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, two kind of observations that I've made about our midfield right going forward into this CONCACAF Gold Cup for starters I, I am very disappointed that Kevin Stewart and Jordan Cousins you know did not get into the final 23 right for reasons unclear right and I say unclear because you know we hear conflicting reports from even official sources you know initially we heard that the two players had gotten documents and then later on we heard that the two players did not get documents, right? Some people are saying that, you know, the, the hierarchy was not being upfront, right? About the, 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 the situation regarding both players, right? And other UK born players as well. But I can't speak to that. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that both players are not in the final 23 both cousins and Stewart are not in the final 23 and it's a bother for me because really and truly again you know for starters we're going into this gold cup tournament without an out and out cdm right and you know surely you know we do intend on and or many of us would not want you know the two players that you know are looking like they have been brought into the gold cup squad to be the cdms many of us would not want them to be you know the main options going forward in the world cup qualifiers and that is with the greatest of respect to those two players right um and, and really and truly i don't even have an issue with both players you know it's just in an ideal world we wouldn't want those two players to be the the the, the main option so to speak right and that's with the greatest of respect to them Right, and it's two players that I respect, truth be told. But you know, so it's 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 a bother because we will not get to see Kevin Stewart and Jordan Cousins before the World Cup qualifiers. Right? We won't get to see both players before the World Cup qualifiers. And that is sad for a number of reasons. For starters, we don't know if those two players will be will be you know could do a job for us in CONCACAF right we don't know that that is yet to be decided and we will find that out in the heat of battle in the world cup qualifying right in an ideal world we'd have wanted to find out you know if kevin stewart and jordan cousins could do a job for us before that right and also get them integrated before the world cup qualifiers and also get them integrated in the team from an on-field and off the field chemistry standpoint right and so you know and and get them to to get an idea as to what theodore tapa whitmore wants or would want from them as well in terms of you know how we would want them to to, to play the, the 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 position right and also bearing in mind that you know tactics and so forth and so forth might change according to the team that you are playing so you know it it is it is unfortunate that we won't get to see Jordan Cousins and Kevin Stewart before the World Cup qualifiers and also for this particular tournament, upcoming tournament, the Gold Cup, right? As I said, you know, the two players that will be tasked, more than likely will be tasked with playing CDM for us in the Gold Cup. In an ideal world, we would not want them to be, you know, the two main guys. And again, with the greatest of respect to, to both gentlemen, no offense meant, you know, I respect both players and I respect their game, right? But, you know, that, that, that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing. We, we talk about we want to win the Gold Cup, right? We talk about we want to win the Gold Cup, but, you know, we, we, it would have been best if we, if we had arguably the two strongest CDMs available to us right now in terms of who could play for us, right? It would be it would be best if if both could be could could have you know made the trip to the Gold Cup. You know they they can still you know come in in the in the final stages of the tournament, 
I believe it's the quarterfinals onwards. You can bring in a couple players right into the Gold Cup, right? Um, I, I believe that is so. That is the case. So they can still feature China you know, for us in the Gold Cup, you know, but it wouldn't be. It would be at the very, at the very most, it would be three games that would play for us, right? Quarterfinal. I think it's the quarterfinals they can bring them in. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong in the in the in the comment section. Right, I think it's the quarterfinals, right? But at the very most, if it's indeed the quarterfinals, they can bring in the extra players. They will be available for us for at the very most three games. And there's no guarantee we'll get to the final. It could be two games, it could be one game that they would play for us. Right, also, you know, whichever one would be the starter. Would we see much of the, the one who would not be the starter? Whichever one in terms of cousins are... Stewart Tapper decides would be his, his starter. Would we see the other one? Or would we see much of the other one? Would the other one, you know, get enough game time to, to, to properly, you know, immerse himself and properly prepare himself for the upcoming CONCACAF um, World Cup qualifiers after that? Right? So, you know, that, that's another issue that it's just unfortunate that the documentation could not be sorted out. If it is indeed the documents why they did not make the final cut, it, it would just be unfortunate that they would not have made the, the, the final 23 for the beginning of the tournament, right? To play the group stage matches. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it would have been unfortunate, right? So that's, that's that where that is concerned. I, th I think that is, you know, the CDM position just seems to be a real bother for us, man, in so many ways. It's like we just cannot sort it out properly, man. So, we, you know, unfortunately, that will be an issue for us going into the Gold Cup qualif in the, to the Gold Cup and also the World Cup qualifiers. Another thing I want to talk about, another interesting observation, right? Daniel Johnson, Michael Hector and Ravel Morrison will more than likely play a very crucial role in midfield for us in this Gold Cup tournament, right? And that is depending on whether or not Tapa decides to put Bobby in the midfield as a number 10 and start Turgot on the, the wing, right? It could be a case where he could start Bobby on the wing and, you know, play a, 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 a DJ, Daniel Johnson, Hector and Ravel in the midfield, right? So the, the, the thing about that is that, and I was saying it on coaches this last night, that these three gentlemen in the last couple of months, you know, have not played many games you know, leading up into this tournament. Now, I'll give you an example. Daniel Johnson um, last played on the 2nd of April, right? So that's April, May, June, and about probably about halfway through July, right? Leading, I mean, in terms of the time, the time in between when he last played for Preston and the start of the the the, the, the the Gold Cup, you know, the first game in the Gold Cup for us, right? That is about, Daniel Johnson would have been out not playing any football for about three and a half months, going four months, right? And yes, the argument can be made that, you know, many players are currently in pre-season and there's no football being played for a lot of players, right? That argument doesn't go for the American team because a lot of the American team are MLS players, right? But, you know, okay, that's a fair argument. But the fact of the matter is, he is much less match fit than even those who are outside of competition now. Because many of them outside of, of many of our opposing players who are not in competition right now, you know, would have, would have stopped playing around midway um, May. Right? So about a month and a half, closer to two months probably, they would have played, they would have had more football under their belt than Johnson, if you understand what I'm saying. Right? Daniel Johnson is at the very least about a month and a half, going two months, less match fit and less match sharp than most of the players that he'll be playing against in CONCACAF in the CONCACAF Gold Cup at the very least two and a half months at the very least uh, one and a half months are going two months right so that's an issue also Hector last played in March 
for the reggae boys in a dreadful game against the United States of America, right? And, you know, I think his lack of match sharpness and match fitness even showed in that particular game, right? I think that was one of the reasons why he, he, he performed so poorly, right? And before that game for us in March, before that he only played about two months prior, or he last played about two months prior in January in a FA Cup tie. If memory serves me right, it was against Newcastle, right? But, you know, Hector has not played much in the last couple of months. Either in the last six, seven months, Hector has, not play, Hector has only played two games, right? So Daniel Johnson has only played, you know, has not played any games in the last three and a half, you know, in the time, in the three and a, it's about three and a half months between when Daniel, Daniel Johnson, three and a half months going four months, in between when Daniel Johnson last played and when our first game is in the in the in the Gold Cup, right? So he has not played in, in he won't be playing in about three and a half months, going four months, you know, before our, our first game in the Gold Cup. Hector has only played twice in the last six, seven months, and Ravel Morrison has only played in one and I, I mean one and a tenth game in the in in japan and the japan tour for us right as a matter of fact ravel marcin is probably in you know has probably played not probably he has played the most football right out of out of all these three midfielders ravel marcin has played the most football out of all these three midfielders in in about three and a half going four months before the CONCACAF Gold Cup and that is a worry man to have three of our more important midfield players not being match fit and not being match sharp in my opinion man that is a big issue right some might disagree but that's just in my opinion man it would have been good if these players would have had more game time under their belt in the last couple of months before the Gold Cup Right, so hopefully though the boys, the midfield can, you know, hold up and 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 do reasonably well for us in the Gold Cup, well enough to 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 support the defense and the the the, the attack in this particular Gold Cup tournament and see if we can go as far as we possibly can in this Gold Cup tournament. So guys, that's my two cents, guys. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.